Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is William, aka Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. Uh, your boy out here at it again. About to do some uh, food deliveries in downtown LA. If you guys take a look at the screen, you will notice it looks crispy. I hope. I got, I finally got my GoPro replaced. I'll tell you guys the story of what happened to my other GoPro later on. But, woo, man, I was waiting on this, man. I was waiting to get this thing replaced. But she's brand new. Look at her. I was supposed to turn off the setting for the red blinking light. It's a red blinking light right now. I kind of don't like it. Uh, if I'm recording indoors or someone and someone sees a red light, they immediately think, oh yeah, they know I'm recording them. So I like to kind of put a little tape over it or just shut it off in the settings. I believe you can shut it off in the settings. Anyway, I have the important settings set. I got the max angle view, so you guys are, it's gonna be very wide. You guys can probably see the mirrors and a lot more. It looks like I'm going a lot faster than I really am. It looks very aggressive, but really cool. I'm gonna try this view out, and then uh, maybe in another view I'll try the, the, just the wide, not the super wide, or the max super wide view. Just experiment with the views. Let me know what y'all think. But, good to be back. It's already about the end of March, March 30th. Uh, so it's gonna be April, I think, on the first. I mean, uh, on, on the, on the, I mean, on Saturday. I think Saturday. Today's Thursday, so damn, two days, son. Whoo! It's been, it was rained yesterday, and it's cold today, really cold. We're at uh, 55 degrees. That's super cold for me. But good to have, good to be back, guys. I missed y'all. About to get this money. I've been uh, killing it on Uber Eats. DoorDash has been kind of slow. I'm expecting that. Uh, if, I, if I can even get a dash, I didn't schedule myself today. Let's see if I can get something. Car, no, I'm on scooter. Oh, there's something available. Till what time? Oh, all day. All right, let's lock it in. Lock it in till midnight or till one in the morning. Whatever, don't matter, probably. I'll probably have to change markets later anyway. And uh, Uber Eats. Let me make sure I got the right vehicle. Account, switch vehicles. Oh yeah, I got my car. All right, Brookus. Bam, son. All right, we good. Oh, I gotta take a photo of myself. God damn it. Fucking BMW. All right, let me pull over and take this selfie real quick. Gotta take off my mask too. All right. Is that good enough? All right, yeah, that works. All right, so we own. We own, baby, let's get this buddy. I'm curious to see what the audio sounds like. I'm sure it's gonna sound good. These are not brand new GoPros. I'm sure they're like refurbished or something. It looks brand new, but from working in technology, like cell phones and stuff, I know that sometimes they'll give, they'll send out, when you make an insurance claim, they'll send you a, a basically not a brand new phone, so they'll be like refurbished parts. And sometimes they won't work like the, oh yeah, picking up for Brian. All right, thank you, man. Those, you two? Yeah. All right, appreciate it, man. Oh, sweet, didn't even have to walk in the restaurant. All right, so I did get a pickup for Bryant, which is an $8 delivery. This place is called Burger District, and they sell these beast ass burgers. They look crazy, I've seen the videos of them. All right, picked it up. Now let's go pick up Mariscos. It's two deliveries. One was eight bucks, and then the other one was added on for three. I'm like, why not? Uh, they're gonna be really close to each other. So let's do it. So I'm gonna go to Mariscos. What is it called? Marisco Cuatro Vientos Seafood Spot right down the street. But yeah, hopefully it sounds good. Hopefully the mics are good. I already set the setting to cancel out wind noise. It is a setting that I put in. And I have it on stereo, so it uses all the mics. It has this camera has six mics. 
which is ridiculous. Most other GoPros don't have them any, and the reason it has six mics, because the GoPro Max has a camera in the front, camera in the back. So, you know, if you're recording from the front, it typically tries to capture sound from the front. Recording from the other camera, capture sound from the other one, and if you do it through six, it gets all of it. But you could choose to record from one lens, which is what I'm doing, and use all the mics, which is stereo mode, and that's what I'm doing. So hopefully it sounds good. I know one thing I've done in the past is I have the cameras behind the camera uh, record the audio, which helps eliminate wind noise and all these other sounds. And my voice sounds the loudest. So it's all different settings. Uh, you gotta just choose what you like. Um, but we'll see. I won't know until I go home tonight and start uploading the, the video. Yeah, let's go pick up this food. We got the goods, some tacos dorados shrimp tacos by uh, Marisco Cuatro Vientos there was a truck behind me when I parked motherfucker thought he was probably gonna get a ticket but he took off right away oh shit alright uh, yeah these two are very close to each other so I'm basically gonna start going back to BPLA I feel like doing a little U-turn here alright let's do it Honking. All right, let's go. <laughs> we'll tell you guys how I messed up my GoPro. Kind of funny. So I went. I joined this group ride by organized by six scooters. S I K K scooters with a S K O. Um, and they hosted a ride that they are. Um, they're all the way in way south of LA. What, what city is that? God, how do I forget what area that is? Oh, let me check. But I went out there. I didn't wake up early enough to meet them to ride with them in the morning, but I knew where they were going. So I went to the meetup spot and I actually got there just in time when they got there. Torrance? I think they're in Torrance or around Torrance area or Londale somewhere around there they're going to a pizza spot so I met up, met up with them there and then once we got back to the shop uh, they were going to surprise Andy which is the birthday boy he's the owner of Six Scooters they're going to surprise him by telling him that everybody was going to go to go-kart world go ride some go-karts go it was something he wanted to do in Vegas but he, he, he couldn't do so um <laughs> So they surprised them with it. I was like, I'm super down. I haven't, I've never been go-karting now that I think about it. My parents have taken me there, but when we saw how much it was, we're like, yep, we're not gonna be able to do that. <laughs> As kids, I remember, couldn't afford that shit. So we didn't do it, we just played arcades, which was fun enough, but I always wanted to go. I was like, I'm super game. So I naturally I'm gonna take my GoPro for sure, get some footage. I actually got some footage on my uh, Instagram. Y'all follow me, Wolfster LA. Uh, I got some video there, but yeah, I was wearing them on my chesty here, but th there was one where we we're just doing circles and I got my GoPro stick and I kind of stuck my GoPro out. And it looked cool, the footage looked cool. Then we went to another track which had like a bunch of turns, left, right, circles, and then over the, over the track, under the track. And I don't know, it didn't occur to me. Oh, shit, I wasn't paying attention. I was supposed to make a right right here. It didn't occur to me that some of these bridges had low clearance. So I started recording. I had my GoPro sticking out the top. And I, right when I started, I didn't even get 50 feet. Immediately, as soon as they said go, I, my, my GoPro stick, my GoPro slammed into the bridge and it just broke off my selfie stick. And I was like, oop, that GoPro's gone. All right, let me just enjoy this ride. I didn't really think much of it. I just knew the GoPro was gone. In my head, I'm like, well, I gotta get enough footage already. So it's cool. Oh shit, look at this water puddle. Oh snap, all right. And yeah, it was just, I, I, I went around the whole track. I saw the GoPro on the floor. I ran it over on purpose out of frustration. 
<laughs> and I just, you know, eventually I just saw it on the edge. I didn't see it anymore. I guess it got kicked to the edge. It got pushed out. And I just uh, forgot about it. And then once the thing was over, I was like, you know what? Let me go see if I can find it. Let me stop. Maybe just get the GoPro to, uh... oh yeah, to exchange it. Because I now have that uh, GoPro subscription. And someone actually got it. One of the ladies that was in our group, she saw it and she just picked it up. And gave it to me. Battery was gone. The door was gone. But I had the GoPro, which is all you need to get it replaced. Um, yeah, that's why I messed it. I scratched both sides of the lens really bad. Really, really bad. So I sent that GoPro back into GoPro. I had to pay like 100 bucks plus fees taxes yeah it's like 140 and i got a brand new one baby so this is her that's what happened it was worth it i got some cool ass footage i was gonna replace it anyway so it worked out i have another gopro which i was also scratched up i might replace that one as well you could you could replace two of them per, per, per year shout out to the person that mentioned it in the comments i wouldn't have known about this if you didn't mention it surprised i didn't know about it but very useful, very useful service. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the new camera, baby. Now I can go to San Francisco. I think I have everything. I have the whole setup now. I got my camera, got the, got the GoPro, got my car. All right, let me drop off here real quick. This is my first stop. It's gonna be somewhere in the school bus. Don't go inside. Don't meet me out here. All right, let me call them, guys. We're here somewhere in the pilot school, pilot school bus driver. Look at this guy ain't even looking. All right, so the next stop is uh, right here on Santee and 60. Probably another business. It's a fashion district here. Now the doors are closed. No, they should be open. Should be open over there. Uh, door dashboard is right here. Probably get something from there. With DoorDash. I got one delivery earlier for 13 bucks for DoorDash. But it's going all the way to Boyle Heights. I haven't gotten anything since. Just to kind of show you how busy it is. Ooh, I just got one for five bucks. Nope, way too far. Decline. Alright, uh, where's this guy at? Across the street over there. What's up, baby? Getting started with, with, uh, with a five dollar tip, son. Five dollar cash tip. Hell yeah. Buy me a 40 ounce later with that. Ah, just kidding. I haven't drank a 40 ounce in years. That was when I was a teenager and I couldn't even buy alcohol. I had to tell somebody outside the store to go buy us some 40s. I'm gonna drink that high life. Sometimes if we're feeling really bad, We'll drink some bot liquor. <laughs> I had a buddy who liked Mickey's. Those are pretty good. I think he still drinks that shit to this day. That's his go-to drink. Mickey's 40s. They're pretty good. So it's nice to have them once a while. Not really. But five bucks, nice. That technically means I made 18 bucks. Sweet. <laughs> with this GoPro shit. I rarely, rarely scratch my GoPro when I'm using it for work. It's always when I'm doing other shit. Damn, should I take this, these two? Heck, if I take these two, I'm gonna end up all the way in Koreatown. 15 bucks, is it worth it? Eight miles in total. Boom, boom, boom. It's not, it's not that many miles, because I'm not going to go on the freeway. Hmm. 15 bucks, end up in K-Town. I'll probably make my way back. I'm sure I'll get something with Uber Eats. It's 11.30, it's about to be lunch. Nah, let's, let's decline that one. I know I can make 15 bucks really quick during lunch rush here in DTLA. Shit. All right, so look, check this out. So I figured, I figured that... Um, I, I, since I have two GoPros, I should get the other one replaced. So I have two new ones. Use one of them for just when I record, when I do food deliveries. 
and the other one for anything else that I do because times I messed up my GoPro like one I was doing go-kart race go-kart uh I was go-karting is that a term I don't know that shit broke off fell ran it over a bunch of go-karts ran it over just messed it up the other time was when I was in Norway I think I was in Oslo or Oslo I don't know if it was Oslo or Denmark one of those countries I don't know I was riding one of those bikes, those rental rent, rent bikes, and I ate shit, and I had the GoPro in my hand. That shit fell, and I scratched. It was brand new too. Did this one just flash that shit at my head? That motherfucker's gonna get run over. These fuckers with these flies are getting courageous. Um, yeah. So what's the other time? Oh, the other time when I went camping, I was taking a picture, fell out of my hand, and it rolled down the rocks. And scratch the lens. These GoPro Max, I man, they're great cameras, but the lenses they stick out the camera, so they they get scratched <laughs> easily. One drop, you're gonna scratch it. So it's good to never have it off my chest, because if it's on my chest, it's not gonna go anywhere. The only way I can scratch the lens, which has happened, is leaning against something mar with marble or rock or something like that, and me just forgetting I have a GoPro on. It's, I'll, I'll probably scratch it that way. But usually when I have the GoPro right here, it's it's out of harm's way. Unless I fall and fall chest first, which if that happens, I'm gonna have other things to worry about aside of scratch lens. Probably not to worry about missing teeth. All right, but yeah, so the, I just gotta not use this GoPro for anything else but this. I'll commit to that. Even I get tempted to use it for other shit. I'll get that other GoPro replaced and just use that for uh, uh, like 360 shots, 360 shots or 360 video, usually the high risk. That's when that shit can fall and hit the lens, you know? You're holding a stick. That's typically when uh, the damage has happened. But yeah, no more scratch lens. Uh, Dr. Pepper for this Wendy's order. Eight bucks right here. Got another four, putting me at 30. So I gotta pick up that sweet green right now. And warm in there. All right, drink away. All right, sweet green, here we come. This one's right next to the US Bank building, which is on 5th and Grand. So it's gotta, we gotta go straight. Oh, I don't fit through there. All right, let's wait here. My 30 bucks, have to these two. Uber Eats, come on, kick in, baby. <clears throat> oh, another one from Shake Shack for 350. All right, Shake Shack is right up here. I took it, another four bucks, putting me at 34. All right, so here's the green. So the parking spot right here, my out of the way of everything all right let's go grab it but yeah it says here i'm five minutes early so i it's it, there might be a chance it's not ready and if that's the case i'm gonna go to shake shake shack and come right back but let's just hope it is let's see oh, it's ready sweet all right let's go let's go get just a shake shack order Ooh, man, it's cold. Every time I go in there, I get all warm, come back out, bam, it gets smacked with coldness. Got the last delivery. Uber Eats didn't come through. Got my hustler right here. Oh, shit. What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? I see you on YouTube, man. Oh, dope, man. What's your name? It's uh, Nicholas. Nicholas, nice to meet you. How, how do you like that bike? I like it. I, I kind of, I've left it a few times. Brilliant. That's a tank, huh? It looks like it's strong. <laughs> it has two batteries on it, so. Yeah, I know. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, the one in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. How much do you make on it? Is it the bucket? Yeah. How much do you make on it? It just depends, bro, how much I, how much I work. Okay. You know, that's it. Yeah, because I'm out here every day, so I, I pretty much average like $110. That's pretty good. How many hours are you here? 
Well, I start at uh, like 10 and I only go for like four hours. I'm already at a... Oh, that's really good. Yeah, you make your first hundred before the break, which is between two and three. Yeah. That's good. That means if you work again, you make another hundred. Yeah, and I sometimes put that shit on car mode too. Oh, the, you mean the settings for the, settings, you get yeah. to get far deliveries, but like but that I, is. I, I get there faster though. Yeah, that yeah, makes that's sense. That's I would do it too. Yeah. yeah. Well, take care, man. All right, you safe. too, man. Be safe out there. But making a hundred bucks in four hours. Nice. All right. So best way to go to the arts district is this way. So a boy coming on the way down. I think people recognize my scooter. <laughs> That's what it is. Alright, let's go, let's go. Oh, so he asked me an important and the question that most people are curious about. How much do you make on a day? Well it depends. There's a lot of variables there. Oh shit. Stuck on that right over that stick. Damn, 24 bucks for three deliveries? Too bad I got three deliveries already. Oh well, let someone else get that. Yeah, so he asked me, which I don't know how to answer, but it is, it does matter. It just depends on how much you work, right? The timing you put into it. Cause it's not like you ask somebody that's employed that works eight hours every day. No, like, so you can ask them, how much do you make in a day? Oh, I make about 150. All right, cool. Because then, you know, they're hourly. Plus, maybe they subtract taxes already. Who knows? Maybe that's their take-home money. But the thing with independent contractor work is... I mean, I try to work the same all the time, but it, it, ain't, it ain't usually the case. Usually, stuff happens. Maybe it rains. Maybe I gotta switch vehicles. Maybe I'm just tired. Maybe it's just slow. Something comes up. So what's a bad, what's a good way to answer that question? Usually, I guess I would say, well, look, I, I average about 25 an hour to like 35 an hour, depending on how busy it is. That's one factor. Yeah, 18 bucks. That would have been legit to go all the way over there. So yeah, it's like, okay, so average, you get your averagely hourly rate, 25, 35. That's a big window, but it, it does fluctuate between that. And then how many, multiply by how many hours you work. So then you get how much I make in the day. So it just really depends. Like those challenges, damn, I'm getting really good deliveries right now. I'm gonna pause Uber Eats, because I'm not gonna pick anything up till I drop all this off. So yeah, um, but lately I've been making like 200 bucks, which is okay. It's not as, not that great. On my challenges, I'll go out there and do 12 hours. The minimum I want to make is 333. See, but that's a long ass answer. Ain't nobody got time to be hearing to all that. They just want one answer. Boom, uh, 200, all right, cool. That's the best answer. On my, if you average out my best and worst days, I think I always land between average 200 a day, which is a good amount. It's not bad. You can make more, but yeah. For delivery, we're gonna cross the bridge, and this is a a cool place to get a nice view of the scenery. The snow, the snow has already melted, but it still looks dope. stand up but it's a risky one of shit just die right here in the middle of the bridge there's cars behind me too so big chance I'll get run over if I go down alright after I drop this off actually you know what I could turn Uber Eats on already let's turn it on coming really fast behind me all right oh the projects i've delivered here before they got the biggest speed bumps i've ever seen in my life 
a lot of cars here have to like turn it in an angle. Look at this big ass speed bump. Jesus Christ. I was almost like going, facing straight up right now. Up at the clouds. Not even being dramatic, but check this out. Man. Can I just hit the sensor? I'm gonna put this, I fit through this door. Instead of going all around, just get out of here. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's go. Which way? Let's go this way. Back to the arts district. See if I get anything there. I guess I got the low fuel thing. Just fill up. Kick me a couple minutes. I don't get any orders, so take advantage. Alright, how much was that? Five dollars seventy-three cents. So I love this ruckus. Florisi? God damn it. I guess I can't write this up. coffee pick up my coffee bean for 11 bucks it's nine items so it's probably gonna be like two bags or maybe just one that'd be cool if it's just one let's see for janice is this all of it all right thank you oh she's stacked it's kind of heavy all right let's do it real fast it's only down the street it's supposed to be at 45 bucks oh another coffee bean charge to this one Get this one. I don't know which way the 16 wheeler is going. Better not turn suddenly. It's probably gonna go in there. Dun, 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 dun. Hella cutie in there. Alright, I got two here at uh what do you call this place? The F Cafe. Two drinks. This is for this customer. That's for that customer. So it should be safe. We're going far. It's 22 bucks. Going all the way to. I hope I drop off the drinks first. Damn it. Nope. So it's a long drive for the the ones with the two drinks. They're snuggled in there nicely. They shouldn't. Uh, shouldn't spill however I will check up on them once I do this first delivery so the second delivery is gonna take me all the way to beginning of P-Town Vermont and Wilshire area and uh, 22 bucks for these two so it puts me at 67 67 dollars so it's gonna be a nice trip if I get something on DoorDash along the way I'll stack it but once I do the first delivery probably just pause the DoorDash app to maybe listen to a podcast along the way. Should I listen to A lot of filming goes down in this building here. You might recognize it from some movies. Check it out. They got a film studio here. I believe some LAPD too. Pretty cool. So I dropped the first one off. Oh, you know what? Let me check the drinks. Man, they're good. They're sealed. They're shut. All right, got another pickup along the way for eleven bucks, putting me at seventy-eight. Let's go grab it. It looked like a shop and pay order didn't accept it right away but it says just to pick up it's a togo sandwiches which is end route where i'm headed oh baby we're getting some sun yes sweet i need that i need some sun sun right, let's go to togo the sandwich let's go Damn, stacking the money quick. Right. 
to this confirm pickup. And then we text my customer that I'm dropping the first delivery, then head it to them. And I'm only texting them that because I'm gonna go a little bit more west than where she is. She, this person is west north. I'm gonna go west, a little bit west past her location and then go north toward her. So it might look like I'm going off the map a bit for her, like off the route. So just sending her a courtesy text, like, hey, I'm dropping off the first delivery, then head it over to you. Let them know that I'm not lost and I'll be there right after. 78 bucks, baby. That's dope. It's uh, about to be one o'clock, so. Oh no, those bumps are not good. Street blockage. Oh snap! Mercedes got wrecked. Where's the other car? Hit and run? Probably hit and run. So I'm inside that bends. That ruined their day. Firehouse subs for nine bucks puts me at 103. So I've already hit my first hundred. It's two o'clock. I might just take a little break after this. Uh, I did see the forecast that this day is gonna rain between two and three. It's looking pretty. Uh, see those dark clouds up there. So I might I might just take a break after this. But, uh, but maybe not, we'll see. Just eyeball it. I got a couple pickups. Um, I did two right now for 12 bucks, adding to the, the amount I had. I, I added another 20 bucks. I might end up following Los Felix. North of, what city is that? North of East Hollywood putting my other jacket on because it's sprinkling and it's cold so I got my jacket on feels a little better jacket feels cold because <laughs> I think it was cold all right so the other 20 bucks it puts me at what is that 24 plus 12 it was actually 13 Sprinkling, so I put the jacket on, and it's windy. It's getting a little colder. But I figured I'll do these last two, then I'll take my break somewhere over there at 1:37. Getting another one for Uber Eats for 11. Putting me at 1:48. It was from here. Me Dory Matcha. I've never been there before. First time. Because these two matcha drinks, which looks really good. However, this is gonna be the last one I drop off. And it's a pretty good distance, so 
I'm gonna um, I, it'd be a good idea to put tape on these so these tops don't come off during the trip but I appreciate sure I have my scotch tape we'll check right now and this one this one should be fine there's a drink in there but it looks pretty secure all right should I just put them in here I could risk it but just to be on the safe side let me get some tape tell me I have it tell me I have it no scotch tape yep here it is all right let's do it one by one This is just so the top doesn't come off while well, I haven't used scotch tape. Oh, that was too short. Still not enough. Let's try this again. Is it even going to stick? Alright. Sweet. So now we got tape to secure them put this on top so they don't jump around all right that holds them down cool we're game baby put this back zip it up Woo! what you know about that all right so first one is going Silver Lake area. I'll probably do this Uber Eats one second. This one is near there. It's just getting there. It's gonna be tricky. And then I think I'll do the yeah. I think I'll do this one second. Sweet. Let's go. One off. I'm going to the Uber Eats one. I just wanted to record these little streets. They're very fun. They just kind of turn around and there's always oncoming traffic on the other side. So I feel like check out the scenery. Woo! Maybe we can catch some of the mountains. Oh yeah, baby. That looks sick. So I'm gonna come out somewhere on these, uh, somewhere on the street. It's gonna take me to the uh, grave drop off. But look, woo! <laughs> driving so close to these cars it's gonna look sick with the gopro all right this is the final turn right here it rained for a bit glad i dried up this would have been some dangerous turns if the word the floor was wet makes them slick more chance of sliding on these turns but all right let's get this delivery that should have leaked out how are you going to put a drink in a bag? There's nothing I could do about this. Maybe stick it in the cup holder there. That might help. But it's wrapped up in a bag. So it didn't pour all over the place, which is kind of a good thing. They could probably salvage their orange juice. But it's still terrible, terrible packaging. Just putting a drink in a plastic bag where it could just move all over the place all right well i did the uber eats one now let's go do this last one for uh doordash that's supposed to be there by oh someone's coming out thank god it's supposed to be there by 317 it's 311 so and uh, according to google maps i am six minutes away Talk about perfect. Cool. My first half out the way, first half of the day. Put my sweater back in here. Stuff it in here. All right, I'm gonna go eat, son. Thanks for watching this video. We'll split it in two to the next one. So, 
I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.